again. This is Doc Rotten from Gruesome Magazine and Horror News Radio. Joining me tonight is the one and only Vanessa. She is here to talk about a little movie called Live Evil. Vanessa, how you doing? Uh, what's up, Doc? I'm doing good. Oh, you went there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. At so- least one. Ah, there you go. Uh, Live Evil, uh, which they play on the name in the poster in an interesting uh, reverse kind of reflection-y way uh, from director Mm -hmm. Ari Kirschenbaum. Uh, First off, tell us what Live Evil is all about. Live Evil is, at its core, it's a Pandora's box kind of movie where they somebody opens the box and ends up releasing a demon that begins the end of the world. Uh, It's was i really 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 enjoyed this movie it was so good i'm so excited i got a good one oh yeah so yeah so okay great you think it's great so tell me what works for live evil live evil well first of all it has cred because tony todd is in it if you you put tony todd in in a horror movie you get instant horror like it's just a really it's kind of an artsy horror film the first i guess more than half of the film is in black and white it has these awesome like scenes where when someone is experiencing or remembering this pain that they once experienced, it shows it. And like, um, there's one scene where someone's remembering someone else's death. One of the main characters is remembering a family member's death, and they represent that as this floating silver coffin just gushing blood. And that's supposed to be like her ver- internal version of this nightmare of her uh, family member dying. And it's just this bright red blood against this silver coffin, against this like white background. They did artistically, they did a really, really great job with this film. And her, you're talking about Deputy Han- Hancock, uh, played by Charlene Armoa. Tony Todd plays a pastor in this movie. He does. He. <laughs> So at one point, this demon that they that someone has brought back, something happens and the dead start rising, but the dead are not rising because of the demon or from the demon. The dead are rising to kill the demon. And so all these dead people are coming out of the ground. And the best part about these dead people is they, they all in some way kind of look like Eddie from Iron Maiden. <laughs> so they all really look awesome. And what they do is they go to Tony Todd's church and they force him to perform an exorcism to try to uh, kill this demon. It's great. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it sounds fantastic. When, how does it play you against the black and white versus the color? How does that play out in the film? Initially, when I watched the movie, I didn't really notice that it was black and white because you kind of it's stor- it's a storming and you can't really tell oh, what's going on. And it's not until this big power outage happens that I noticed that it was in black and white and realized it had been the whole time. So they're doing this. What I think, because it starts this way to symbolize when the demon arrives and late as the movie progresses and they start figuring out more the power flashes again and all color comes onto the screen. That kind of out of nowhere. It has a real kind of a fun murder mystery vibe, very like Scooby-Doo. You know, you get this ragtag group of people who are trying to defeat this demon without being influenced by the demon because it can, we see it mainly in one form, but it can change how people view it. So it becomes like this very, um, negative force in these people's lives because it's representing a tragedy that they've all experienced individually. Wow. Well, it, 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 you have sold this movie to me. <laughs> so tell us what your score <laughs> is. Good. Uh, what are your score is? One to five and your favorite scene. I, I definitely give it a five. Wow. Um, my favorite scene, my favorite scene that, I think my I, I have more than one favorite scene. I think my favorite scenes are those little intercut kind of they're like CGI cartoons that they do to uh, represent these tragedies in these people's lives. They just look so phenomenal <laughs> and it really strikes you as like this somebody who really thought that they wanted to affect you on a deeper level. 
So those are my my favorite parts. Ooh, nice. All right, Vanessa, thank you for another great review. Let's say goodnight. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Hard News Radio, and Decades of Horror. Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format. 